We've been on the journey to transform and restore our 1950s fixer-uppers hardwood floors within the living room. And boy, it has been a journey. We've had a lot of bumps in the road, and now we have decided to start over because the previous stain that we put on just did not turn out the way we had hoped. If you'd like to see how things turn out, stay tuned to the end of today's video. Y'all, these floors are giving us a run for our money. I'm, I'm over it. Okay y'all, so I'm in Home Depot and if you remember in my last video, I mentioned that we made a big mistake with the floor. So this is the finish that we got and it says clear. We got it in semi-gloss. So this is the one I'm thinking that we're gonna try because they don't have the Varathane brand in crystal clear. I'll pop up a picture of what that looks like. So I'm thinking we need to get this, either semi-gloss or satin. And I just opened it y'all, take a look at this. Do you guys see the inside of that? It's like a milky, creamy color. I'm, I'm, I don't know about this either, but I'm like, this probably will give us the finish we're looking for just to elevate the natural floors, you know, bring a little warmth, but nothing too crazy because we completely just did not like how this one turned out. So I'm thinking we try this and see. I don't wanna waste time, I don't wanna waste time, I don't wanna waste time. All right, y'all, so we are about to start the process of redoing these floors. If you missed my live, I gave a little update and I'll update you here as well that we got in contact with our contractor who's supposed to come out, he didn't come out. And it's been like a week now. We're ready to have our living room back and we feel like we can do it ourselves. So that's where we are now. Like we have the confidence. We've done a lot of research. And thank you guys for sending me like a lot of stuff on Instagram, other influencers to watch who did similar things. So I feel like we have a really good understanding of what we need to do. The floors turned out fine. It's just that they are a little bit more on the yellow side than we want. And um this just wasn't quite what we were going for. So we're gonna try it again. And we both said that if it doesn't work this third time, we're not doing it again. We are going to either, I don't even wanna talk about it, but we would just have to explore other options. That's where we are right now, but hopefully we won't get to that point. You'll see by the end of this. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Let's get started. <laughs> When we first started the process of refinishing these floors, we used a 36 grit, but this time around, we just didn't feel like that was super necessary. So we actually started with a 60 on this go around. And then later on in the video, you'll see me go over the 60 with the 80 and then finishing it off with like a 100 or a 120. And the reason we didn't do 36 this time is because we just felt like it would be a little too harsh on the floors. There was only one coat of the top coat on here right now and as you guys can see it was very easy to get it off it didn't take nearly as much effort as it did when we refinished the floors the first time
stalking his Instagram. Okay, y'all, now that we've gotten most of the stain up, or not even the stain, the poly that we have put on up, we're gonna go ahead and test out the two options that we hope will give us the results that we want. So after seeing the floors the way they are now, um, I know that I do not want them to be this light, but I don't want them to be as dark as they were before. So we're trying to go for something in the middle. So you guys recommended that I try antique white which we did not swatch last time. So, I'm gonna open this so we can see what it'll look like. And then we're also gonna swatch the crystal clear. Okay, I don't know. I'm kind of liking that, y'all. All right, y'all, and this is just the crystal clear poly. So I'm gonna put a little sticker right here. Whoever told me about that antique white, thank you so much. I never would have thought to get a stain that's called antique white. Like, so far, I think that's what we're gonna go with, but let's see what this crystal clear is gonna do after it dries. And since we were really liking antique white at this point, we decided to go ahead and swatch it next to the old color just to make sure that we were really in love with it. All the colors start to look really similar after a while, so just putting them right next to each other helped us see the difference. All right, y'all, so it is the next morning and here is what the stains are looking like. So here we have that antique white and I freaking love it y'all. And then right here we have the crystal clear. Marcus and I were saying that this kind of brings out more of like the oranginess of the floors. Y'all already know the colors on here aren't really that true. But yeah, I really like Okay, this is kind of how it looks in purse. Well, no. It's a lot warmer. Mm. Let me see. No, just because I'm doing that. All right, well, yeah, I'm gonna try to take a picture. But yeah, we're really liking that antique white. We feel like that's a happy medium and it kind of calms down like the, the orangey, yellowy undertones that this floor can have. So we think we're gonna go with that one. Again, this is just the crystal clear stain on top. It's making the floor look a lot more yellow, if you guys can tell, still. But it's way better than what we had, which is right here, if you guys can see. Um, this is what we had. That's just a little comparison of color. And then over here, I applied a lot more of the stain. Let me turn on the light real quick. Okay. So over here, I applied a lot more of the antique white and kind of just let it sit to see what it will what it would look like. I didn't wipe this one up. So this was this is how we could get it to be a little bit darker if we wanted to. All right, y'all, so it is day two of working on the floors in this new round. 
and I'm about to go ahead and sand the floors down to an 80 grit so that way we can just continue on with the process of getting them ready to be restained all over again so here we go and guys, I do want to apologize in advance for how groovy this footage is. We are just waving, so if it bothers you, please fast forward. But I just wanted to show really quick the process of me going over the floors with the 80 grit. And I also did it in 100 grit, but once I reviewed the footage and I saw like how shaky it was, I was like, I'm just going to spare them that. So right after these clips, you guys will see Marcus working on the edges, just making sure that that area gets done so the whole room can be completely sanded. Okay, you guys, so the edging is done and the floors are officially back in the state that they were in when we refinished them the first time. So now what I'm about to do is go ahead and sweep up a lot of the dust that's in here and vacuum as well. And then after that, we'll be able to go ahead and apply the stain. I'm really excited for that part. I'm also a little bit nervous. We have both decided that if the if it does not turn out right like the way you want it to we're not going to be doing it the third time so i'm really like nervous about it all but i think it's going to turn out okay i think it's going to be okay so let's sweep up and then we will vacuum the amount of dust in this room is insane like and it blends in so well until you start sweeping or like looking closely at different areas so we really want to make sure we did a great job of getting it up so we swept it so that a lot of it wouldn't get stuck in the vacuum and then we vacuumed it and then my vacuum died you already know the struggle with that and then after that i went ahead and mopped this area i think twice let it dry and then you guys will see us pick up on the next day finally get this floor stained put it off for a really long time but we are ready now i've personally been super nervous about doing this project because i just hope that we're making the right choice but we've already gone ahead and started working on the edges so i'm just going to keep going along here Don't, baby. This is 
So the technique that we're using to stain the floors is pretty simple. I'm going ahead and putting just one layer over the edges and then Marcus is coming behind me wiping it up so it doesn't, you know, stay that white of course because that's totally not the look we're going for. So yeah, we just went ahead and did that around the whole entire room. Why can't you just tell me? So we're finally getting ready to actually stain in a bigger scale. We did the trim, looks great. I'm loving it. My nerves have calmed a bit now that I see what that looks like everywhere. Um, but I'm still a little bit nervous for this part, but we're just gonna go for it. We got these little foam rollers at Home Depot and we attached them to a stick just to make it easier and a lot quicker for us to stain, but this is what it looks like. It's real foamy. So yeah, so we're thinking as I roll or as Marcus rolls, one of us will wipe just like we did. Cause I don't know if you guys saw how white that stain comes out, but we don't want to let it sit for too long. We don't want the floors to look white. We just kind of want them to be what they are right now, but you know, when you wet them, they become a little bit more orange or more. <laughs> Marcus, what are you doing? You're just happy they are more yellow. Can y'all see him in the TV? Literally serenading, <laughs> distracting me. <laughs> Let's just start, okay? All right, y'all, we're about to pour it on the floor. Y'all, it's not working out. The color that's going on, on the floor now, for whatever reason, it's so, it's nothing like what we swatched. It's nothing like what we put on the edges. It just looks so white and chalky. I don't know if you guys can tell, like from the edges to this part, it's just not it. We're trying to experiment now and see what we can do to tone this down. I'm thinking we're gonna have to add water to it. Hmm? It's crazy. It's crazy. Y'all, these floors are giving us a run for our money. I'm, I'm over it. But we're gonna keep going. <laughs> So of course, we did not want to give up, so we tried so many different techniques. We tried applying it, going against the grain to see if that would take better because it looked really good against the trim. But I hope you guys can see just how chalky it was going onto the floor and we just had no idea why. It didn't look like this when we swatched it. It didn't look like that when we put it all along the trim. So we were really stumped at this point and kind of discouraged. But yeah, this is a really big difference of how chalky it is versus the regular floor. So we were like, okay, well, we can't, we can't do this. We even opened up a new can of Antique White just to test it out to see if we got a bad batch or something. But no, we didn't. It kept turning out that way on the floor. So... We decided to go ahead and swatch the crystal clear stain over here because that was our only option at this point. So here we are just comparing the colors next to each other again and we decided that of course the antique white was an absolute no. We weren't going to put any more of it on the floor and we were going to just go ahead and do the crystal clear. I know this says the next day but this is actually like days, maybe even a week later because I really got in my head about this project 
and I don't I guess because the floors are just such a big deal and I knew we weren't gonna be redoing it again I was very nervous to put this crystal clear on which is actually what I'm doing right now you guys I Marcus was at work this day and I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it why not I've never been really scared to tackle projects around the house but this has been the one thing that has made me the most nervous like more nervous than I've ever been about anything but I'm like I, let's just do it I can do it so I took out the crystal clear stain I used the suggested um, foam pad and I went to work and when I tell you guys I love the way the floors turned out like I love them and it made me <laughs> feel silly for waiting so long to do this but it was a big decision and I'm happy we're here now. You guys be sure to let me know what you think of the crystal clear down in the comments. Like it's exactly what I wanted. So now it is the next day and Marcus is applying the second coat. We actually did a total of three coats using this poly and with every coat it got better and better. Also, we got a GoPro recently so you're getting a really nice POV of Marcus doing like the last few coats of the poly. So let me know if you guys like GoPro footage. I haven't personally used it yet, but I think the clips look pretty cool. But be sure to let me know if you guys like them um, or if they're too distracting or if you think they're great so I can know for future videos because I feel like the GoPro will really come in handy where we're doing projects and we can't really use our hands a lot or it's an awkward space to set up a tripod or you don't want to put a tripod on the floor like in this instance because you got to keep moving it around while you're doing the floor. So yeah. But anyways y'all, I am so happy that this project is finally over like i said i love the way that the floors turned out in our next video we are going to move all the furniture back in put the living room back together and the floors you guys are just going to see them come to light even more but i'm obsessed with the tone of them this is exactly what i was picturing in my head from the jump so the fact that we were able to achieve this after a few bumps along the road, I am so, so, so happy. So stay tuned for the next video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.